You know, our whole notion of health is completely wrong. And the allopathic medical system, rather than being concerned about healing and health, is concerned about putting duct tape over the warning lights that are all of the different medical, you know, the all different symptom patterns that, that are expressing the imbalances and the pathology accumulating in a human system. The fact is that, you know, the AMA has aggressively denied the whole notion of vitalism as an expression of the, the, the model by which human beings are alive. Vitalism is basically, there is a vital energy in the person that is the, the fundamental manifestation of their life and all of the physiology and the psychology that uh, it, you know makes up a person is really an effect of that vital energy, that vitalism. Well, you know, to deny that a human being is is energy is just fucking stupid. So the idea, instead of feeding that vital energy to allow the system to self-correct, we zap. Exactly right. We, we, take, we take pegs and hammers and nails and electrical wires and knives and saws and, and we, we brutalize people instead of, you know, trying to put ener any energy at all into understanding, you know, human, human life as an expression of creative energy and understanding how balance you know, is an inner alignment and balance is, you know, the fundamental expression of health. At least we should be doing what we started this interview in, is focusing on stimulating uh, that vital life force in right, those people. Right. So to, they can deal with those things. And this is the paradigm that we really need to engage in. If, you know, for instance, here we are, we are spiritual practitioners. And what we experience in our own lives our whole life is based on the understanding that there is a fundamental creative energy which has unbelievable strength and potency within it that has the, a, a, the intention to express health nonstop. And what it really needs to express that health is some contact, alignment, and a focus on circulation. And with this understanding that health lives in everyone and has the intention to express itself through the tissues and the mind, then, you know, cultivating that contact and the circulation of that energy through the tissues in the mind, you know, is a constant restoration of health even in the incredibly toxic environment that we exist in today. You know, and what we really need, you know, people in the world today are constantly focusing on things outside them, thinking, I need this, I, I have a cold, I need a pill, you know, I have a, a hunger, I need a something, or, you know, a, 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 a McDonald's, I have a desire, I need, a, you know, whatever. I mean, instead of, you know, looking inside ourselves and making contact, literally, how many, how many people do we see, you know, every day on the streets that we observe have no contact with their physical bodies? This, this lack of contact with our bodies and with how, and really, with how we feel. People eat total garbage and feel, and they can't feel what a bad thing it's doing to them. These, these inappropriate chemicals that saturate our bodies undermine, you know, the function of our senses to the degree that we are completely out of contact with our bodies and we are out of contact with the earth and the environment 
and the universe in which we live, even as our knowledge base about all of this is expanding exponentially, and we are understanding increasingly how completely interdependent we are on this total display. This, what you just described, is the cure. If we all started doing that and establishing and supporting the process you just talked about, it would change the individual's way we dealt with our health and our disease. It would change the Amen. medical well, systems would, way we dealt with it. It would, imp not only that, it would impact the entire economy in a very positive way because we would be much more concerned about the quality of our food. We would be much more concerned about the quality of the air we breathe and the water we drink. Earlier you were just talking about how our system is naturally programmed towards health. Isn't it also naturally programmed towards decay and death? Absolutely. This brings up the whole cynicism of people. Why should I care? Because I'm going to die anyway. You know, well, that's, that's all well and good that you're going to die anyway. But if you really are in connected and in touch, you know, and totally, if you're, con if you're in contact and aligned and flowing within yourself, in your environment, the whole quality of your experience of your life and, uh, and what happens to that quality of, of experience in, that is your life as you go through a change of state that we call death, you know, is profoundly different. And one of the reasons why we practice is because we understand and we accept, maybe even embrace the, under, the, the awareness that our time here is temporary and our purpose here is to absorb as much energy and experience as we possibly can to carry with us on our journey through this extraordinary transformation that we call life. That's what I call a cure. That is the, the cure. <laughs> All right, well, that's another episode of News from the Heart with Swami Chaitanya Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again on our next episode.